Hey guys, it's Hake here and I'm making a quick video to show you guys how to boot up from a CD on your computer. Now, I know a lot of you may already know this, but there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to boot their computer off a CD. It's very, very easy, but I've made this video and I'm going to break it down to help people that can't understand that you... Uh, in order to boot off the CD, you can't. You have to tell your BIOS to boot from the CD instead of the hard drive on your computer. Now, you may be wanting to boot from a CD if you're going to reinstall Windows or if you're going to run a recovery utility or maybe you have got um, a bootable uh, anti-malware CD you're trying to run or whatever you're trying to boot off a CD. Well, for whatever reason, you're going to need a command your computer's BIOS to boot off the CD instead of the hard drive. Alright, so I'm going to show you an exam some examples of how you can do this. Now it's going to be different for every computer because the BIOS layout is going to be different depending on whether you have a Dow, Acer, or HP computer. And I'm just going to show you a few images here. This is the first image, which is from the Acer uh, computers and you can see here that at the very bottom when you first boot up the computer and you get your Acer logo you're going to see at the very bottom there's a there's an option saying press F2 to go to setup it may look like that or it may be a different key than F2 I'm circling it right here with my mouse and that's for Acer computers and it's going to be different depending on what computer you have but the general concept is as soon as you get to your your logo and now here's another example of a Dell computer and again it's F2 for setup and it's right here where my mouse is circling or you can press F12 for boot options and then from there you can probably select a CD to boot off of so people that are on different uh, computers here's an HP example are gonna have a different required key to press now this is for HP you can see it's the escape key that you need to press to boot off and this is the the exact moment when you power on the computer when you get your logo whatever computer that you have all right and then there's f10 to enter setup which is the bios basically so it's going to be a different key for whatever computer you have so you have to pay attention as soon as you get your logo to what is the actual corresponding key to press and I'm going to show you what the BIOS looks like. When you boot up into the BIOS, it's going to look completely different depending on whether you're on Dell, Acer, HP, etc. Here's an example of what um, the BIOS, and I actually, for some reason, I can't get the image to load, will look like on an HP computer. And as you see here, right where my mouse is, you have, you can use the arrow keys and there's a boot option. And you would go into there and you would configure the computer to boot up from the CD. And then you could see down here it says to save changes to press to press F10 and X. That will get the uh, computer to boot off a CD. All right, now I'm going to just go over another another example here. Now this is an Acer setup, so the boot uh, layout is a little different. I mean the BIOS layout. And as you see, you want to use the arrow keys, go over to the boot section. Again, you can use the arrow keys here and move it up and down and you're going to put the CD-ROM drive as the top boot priority. And then you're going to press the uh, F10 key to save and exit. All right. So every BIOS layout is going to be different. You just have to hunt around. Once you're in your BIOS, you'll figure it out. It's relatively simple. You're just trying to find where you change your boot order and you want to put the CD up above the hard drive. And then you can boot off a CD. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and actually boot off a CD and I'm going to be using a virtual computer to demonstrate this. So I'm just going to fire up my virtual computer here. And I missed the opportunity. Hang on. Alright, so I'm on my virtual computer. 
and I've got my bias open. And as it and as it is, I'm going to be heading over to the boot section using the arrow keys. And we got the hard drive listed top, and I got the CD drive at the bottom. So with the uh, following the on-screen instructions, I'm going to be pressing the uh, I'm going to be pressing the required button. So in my case, it's the plus and minus key. So now I got the CD-ROM drive at the very top, and the hard drive is below it. So now that I've done that, the computer is going to, instead of booting it up into Windows off the hard drive, it's going to boot off the CD. So then I'm going to go over towards the Exit tab, and I'm going to go Exit, Save and Changes. And if I did this right, we are booting now off Heron's boot CD, not off the Windows 8. So this is basically just a boot CD that I have for recovering computers, like when like recovering broken Windows operating systems. You by doing this, these boot methods, you can basically boot off a Windows CD or any bootable CD. I'm just going to fire up a cup my uh, my Heron's boot disk, and basically I'm now on Heron's boot CD. I'm not booting into it, actual Windows. Now this has the XP logo. That's just part of Heron's boot CD, but if you enjoy my videos, please remember to comment, write, and subscribe. But hopefully I broke this down so people can learn how to boot up off a CD because there's a lot of people out there that just don't understand how to do it. It's so simple. And if you still are having issues, research it online. Search up your computer manufacturer or your mod the model of your computer and look online and it will tell you how to boot off a CD. It should have instructions in the user manual if you can't uh, boot off a CD. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.